You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 37 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're talking about... Um, Throwing shit at the wall and seeing if it sticks. Yeah. I guess. They're trying to get, get a lot of excitement behind stuff that people kind of already care about. Well, he, here's the thing. They do a good job building things like the Kofi and the women's triple threat and the Seth and Brock. Uh-huh. And then it's just... No one gives a shit about anything else. And there's just such a drastic, you know, shift, I guess, in the amount that people care for these things and then the amount of that people care for all the other things. It's true. Yeah, that's, that's and, fair. you know, that, again, has to do with them building stars and using their lower and mid-card talent to do anything. Yeah. It's uh, actually a very good example was at the beginning of Raw. Yeah. <laughs> no. All right, so we had the beat the clock challenge. Well, it was three individual matches: Ronda Rousey versus Sarah Logan, mm-hmm. um, Charlotte versus Ruby, mm-hmm. and Liv versus Becky. And they had Ronda establish a minute twenty-five. Sure. Well, I have it written, written down. down. All so right. um, that's fair. She was the first one. Mm-hmm. So obviously, the way it works usually is the last person wins. Um, they made because <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, because you're going in, you're like, okay, well, obviously, the riot squad doesn't stand a chance. But then after this, you book a tag match between the three of them for next week. Well, the whole stipulation with that is who cares? That, oh, all right, but I'm just it doesn't saying, matter. The whole point of that is that if they don't work as a team, that person will not be included in the which is the, stupid. I, I, because I'm, why would it matter? If you just just win the match, obviously you're so much better than they are. I'm so not, why don't you just do it in a minute and twenty five seconds? I'm not disagreeing, but also just have Ronda Rousey go out against um, Sarah Logan or Liv versus Becky. That's it. So, so you get here's do. the thing: the whole thing is to beat you know the the challenge of the other person. Now, how do you do that with three different challengers? If you do, if you're playing a video game and you have to do a challenge, uh-huh. you beat it in a minute twenty-five. I'm gonna do that same challenge and beat it in a minute twenty-five. Now you have three different competitors with three different skill sets. Oh, yeah, it's not fair at all. It, no, it's just stupid. It's, it's dumb. It, it makes it no is. sense. Yes, that's it. Yeah, I know. I mean, I, I get that, and and this is the main event of WrestleMania. <laughs> the focus was for what the first half hour of the show, yeah. and then that's it. Yeah, that's true. Um, they well, to be fair, the. Two of them are on the other show. Well, that's true too. <laughs> so it's 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 not like they're taking up a half hour of a weekly program. Yeah, that, that's it, true. They took up about an hour of this week's stuff. So it's not like you can bog down Raw and bog down SmackDown with no. Them. Okay, that's so, fair. That right, should we just get into what happened on SmackDown then? We, too? we can. Um, so Becky is, I guess, getting interviewed. I believe. Right, right, right. And she's like. Ronda brings the title to the match. I bring the star power to the match. But what does Charlotte bring? And then Charlotte's music hits. She grabs a microphone, which is odd. I don't think they've really done this before. No, because she came out. And, yeah. yeah. And all Charlotte says is, I'll show you what I bring. She goes to the ring, and then Asuka comes out. Mm-hmm. So, like, oh, I guess they'll have a non-title yeah, match. Right, right. It's weird. Um, and then they announced that it's for the SmackDown Women's Championship. I love that the commentators all freaked out. Yeah, they're like, what is going on? <laughs> well, because originally they had announced a fatal four-way to face Oscar. Yeah, it was supposed to be Son- 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 Sonya, Sonya, Mandy, Naomi. Carmel, and Naomi. Yeah. Um, and then they have this, and I'm like, oh, my God, they're going to put the title on Charlotte. Yep, and what did they do? I, they put the title on Charlotte. All right, so I'll just look at this from a... First off, the match was very good. The match was probably and, one of the best title defenses yes. for that championship it's period. True. It, it was very good. That Spanish fly off. The yeah. Because there, there's ball. been a lot of duds for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And that's yeah part of the problem. Because and- usually, for the most part, it's been like the like for example Charlotte being the the overpowered baby face against mm-hmm. a uh, weak heel. Yes. <laughs> and then with Oscar yeah, having. You- the only good thing was when we had Charlotte versus Becky. Yes, that and that was it. it happened twice. Yeah, and it happened with the later half of 2018. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, yeah. I, I think there's a couple ways to look at this. So first, 
you didn't want to book a match with Asuka and somebody else that nobody's going to give a crap about. It's true. On WrestleMania, mm -hmm. like, out of all of them. Uh, what is already being rumored to be a very long show to begin yes, with. Yes, yes. Now, there's a couple ways they can go about this. You, We still don't know what Ronda's future is post-WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could possibly have Asuka come out, cost Charlotte the match. Becky ends up pinning Asuka... Becky picks up the Raw title. She has her own thing now on Raw, mm -hmm. and Asuka and Charlotte can do their feud on SmackDown, and Ronda can go away, and then you can still pick up the whole Becky-Ronda thing with the whole Four Horsewomen versus Four Horsewomen thing later on down the road. So you're saying that Becky and Charlotte forget about what is going on? I mean, later on. Yeah. It's, gonna, it's bound to happen. It's true. It's going to happen. It's true. Um... I don't think Asuka needs to get involved for what you're talking about happens. Because mm -hmm. Charlotte's going to take the pin anyway, or well, well. tap out. There's no way she doesn't. Yeah. Um, it's just, just a matter of if Ronda retains or if Becky wins. At this point, I think Becky has to win. Right? I mean, yeah. In theory. I, I just, I don't know. There, I, I don't like the main event spot at Mania just for the simple fact that it's going to be such a long show. And, you know, the crowd's kind of going to be out of it and things are to be fair but in the first time in the last five years mm -hmm. this is actually a main event that matters well, well i was really gonna say that people but... actually want to see that's fair okay um because i know at 32 nobody no at 31 nobody wanted to see roman against lesnar mm -hmm. we didn't care because at the time we, we didn't got back into yeah we it. didn't yeah, really yeah. know what was going on 32 nobody wanted to see roman beat triple h <laughs> Um, at 33, the main event was Taker and Roman. Everybody was pissed off because Roman beat Taker. Mm -hmm. And then last year, it was Lesnar versus Roman, and we kind of just assumed Roman was going to win, and yeah, then he we, ended up well, losing. we were okay with it. We were, we were getting like, mad fine. because of how long the match was going. That's what that was. <laughs> well, that was when he busted him open. Yeah, and it's like, just was, end it. Yeah. It's getting bad. Yeah. It wasn't even bad, like, match quality, because the match was fun. It, it just kept going, huh? Yeah, and the fact that Roman was bleeding a lot. Mm-hmm. And it's like, just end it already. It's already dead. Yeah. So. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so that's one thing it has going that's for true. it. That's true. And I mean, it is a big deal that yeah. the women are main eventing. I'm mm -hmm. not taking that away from yeah, them. No. I just, you know. It's, it's just, just rough when it's long and it's hard for people to stay into it. That's yeah, it. That's all. We get it. Um, I mean. That was an awful lot of ranting about a stupid match that doesn't mean anything. It's true, yeah. but, I mean, uh, again, this is building to your main event of yeah, the no, show. Yeah. That's, but I, I guess they're at the point where, like you had said earlier on, everybody already knows who they want to mm -hmm. win. You don't need to sell it any more than it already is. No. And they established this three months ago. Yeah. <laughs> no, six months ago. Yeah, yeah, Survivor <laughs> Series. Yeah. yeah. I would even go further back than that. Because as soon as soon as the, like even back in October, mm -hmm. w w as soon as uh, that Evolution match, mm. like you knew whoever won that was gonna go face Ronda. Oh yeah 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 right so right right. Everyone yeah. everyone thought that this was gonna le well because originally right after Mania last year they rumored that the main event of this WrestleMania was gonna be Charlotte versus Becky, mm. and we have no reason to believe that if Becky was able to actually make the Survivor Series match. That that wasn't going to be what happened. That's true. That's a good possibility. So this yeah. only started because that match didn't happen. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, Charlotte will take the pin at WrestleMania. She'll move on to a program with Asuka on SmackDown. Becky will stay on Raw, I yeah. guess. I would assume so. Unless they decide they want to unify the belts. Yeah, that's the other option too. Yeah. Because yeah. if they unify the belts, that would actually work in their favor. Because you're not going to get the same stale storylines. But the only problem is I don't trust them to book it. Why wouldn't you trust them to do? Anything? I know, I know, it's crazy. <laughs> no, just because, like with the with the tag titles, they're actually doing something in like mm. interbranded. But this is the time where they don't want to put the people on the other show. Yeah, not, I guess that's true. <laughs> not when it makes no sense. Like, then, if if it's completely unrelated, oh, they can go on whatever show they right, want. Right, right. But, yeah, this is a feud that's taking place between people from different brands, so obviously we're going to keep everyone off of. Yeah. So that's the that's part true. that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, 
I guess I guess we should go back to uh, back to Raw. Thing. Sure. Yeah. Well, not a whole lot happened, no. so it's not like it really matters. I mean, Finn Balor earned his shot to face Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania. So. Yeah, because it was supposed to be Lashley and uh, Rush, but Rush was not cleared. Yeah. Because whatever. Of what happened last week? Well, Who cares? <laughs> so so he decided that it was a good idea to take Jinder Mahal and pick him as his partner. Mm-hmm. You know, Jinder, who has since he lost the title, hasn't done anything. No. Um, so Finn, yeah. So you had the Singh brothers and Leo Rush at ringside, mm-hmm. and Finn took out all five men. Yep. That that was one of two examples that made a lot of people look really stupid this week. Yep. Well, actually, there's probably more than oh, two yeah, examples. Oh yeah, there's definitely more but than that. What one of a few examples that made people look really stupid? Yeah. So I mean, at least you think they'll do the demon. So you think it's not even worth it? I was going to say, but why? <laughs> I don't know. That's the problem. I don't know. Because if I they make Lashley... it like a three-on-one handicap match with Jinder, uh, Rush, and Lashley, maybe. Yeah. But you really got to stack the odds up I guess. Yeah, off you don't want to it. Because as of right now, Balor can easily beat Bobby Lashley without a sweat. He did it this week. Yeah, that's true. He's done it multiple times. The only reason why he lost was because of Leo Rush getting involved. Mm-hmm. So, like, there's yeah. really no reason to have this match, period. You might as well just give them the title. <laughs> this should be on the pre-show, and the Cruiserweight title should be on the main show. This oh, is a yeah. waste of time. Oh, I'm not... I know you're not disagreeing, I'm disagreeing. but I'm just I'm just saying. Jeez, but this is, again, them not having anybody else built to yeah. put into a feud like this. Why Bobby Lashley has the title makes no sense to me to begin <sighs> with. They should have left it on Finn, given Finn somebody to elevate... Even if they lose, don't, don't do that. I know it's don't stupid. Do Bobby Lashley shouldn't be on the WrestleMania card to begin with. <laughs> so dumb. He should be in the battle royal. Oh, if, man. if 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 at all. Yeah, with the sunglasses. That's fine. <laughs> he can fight with the SNL guys. Oh boy. All right. Um, so Ricochet and Aleister Black get another victory over the tag champs. The tag champs. Yeah, because why not? Three or two? Probably, yeah. It's one of those. Yeah. So I'm guessing this is going to end up being the WrestleMania match. I if, guess so, but not, why? It it's be. another one. Like, obviously they're going to win. So dumb. Oh, they might not win because it just doesn't make any sense to have the temporary NXT guys have championships. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. So that's true. That's it. Whatever. Um, we did have it announced that it's going to be Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. Yeah, Roman accepted the match. Yep. Drew hits a low blow. Claymore. So they're yeah. doing a good job here. I, yeah, I they're like building this. up I, Drew. I think this is going to be a good match um, for both men. Mm-hmm. I don't think it really matters who wins i'd like to see drew win but i i would as well but it feels like this is the time where roman really needs to win yeah the only thing <laughs> and if drew wins and you know he becomes the self-proclaimed number one contender i don't want to see him <laughs> face that yeah that's the problem that's <laughs> yeah, honestly know? that's the one positive about lesnar retaining the title mm-hmm. because you take drew an actual force and put him up against Lesnar, which yeah. is something we've been talking about and for a while. It doesn't matter heel or face. It doesn't. Up against Lesnar. Because Drew doesn't care. Right. Drew wants to hurt people, which is good. Yeah. It, it, no matter how simplistic it might be, motivation is motivation. Because it's so often that there's no actual, like, legitimate motivation behind anything. It's true. That... So, I don't know. I, no, I, I I would like to see if if Brock is going to retain cuz there's always that possibility. Have have Drew be the next one. Yeah. But I would like to see and I think that it might happen the program between Seth and Roman. Yeah. If oh, Seth yeah, wins. That that that, that yeah, works. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Cuz Seth with. versus Drew it's been done already. Into so, the ground. Yes. And it's also been proven that Drew can handle seth so yep it's kind of hard to yep. actually we just saw him last week yeah exactly it's kind of hard to vouch for that <laughs> yeah so. um we had more nonsense with the women's tag yeah um yeah because it's supposed to versus natalia with natalia face bailey last week um was i think it was ago? sasha and natalia last was week it? i ah, think so geez. Um, but yeah, Tina, Tamina comes out and they interrupt the match, gets thrown out, yep. and then Beth Phoenix beats up. Yeah, all three teams get involved, and then when did we find out? Last night that it was going to be. I think that's when it was official. Or, yeah, because so. like 
I think Sasha and Bailey said, oh, we'll take on everybody mm. or something like that. Yep, I called it. Not that. Oh, yeah, we knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it made so much sense. Yep. Um, we had a moment of bliss with Braun Strowman. Yep. Um, Alexa was trying to, I guess, make amends between him and Michael Che and... Colin... Colin Jost. Jost. There, there we you go. go. I forgot the first name. Yeah, that's all right. Um... This is really stupid, but I like—I kind of like it at the same time. You know that, and that's—that's that's the point about wrestling. Yeah, it, stupid things can be. Fun. Because they're trying to make it like the SNL guys to like play off like, oh, it's not real, and then you got Braun, you know, the hardest like guy that yeah, can yeah, yeah. certainly make it look like it hurts. Like, what are you, five eleven, one hundred and eighty pounds? <laughs> that was hilarious. Crowd so, was kind of flat during it. I though. know, I know, but I guess. During these telecast segments, it's kind of hard to... Although, they certainly didn't like... Because he, he's like, yeah, they were mad at me because I wore a Mets, Mets hat. Thing, yeah. So I fixed well, it this Boston. time. I know, that's why it was great that they did it. So he put on a Yankees hat, and that's the crowd the got it. Yankees suck, right? Or yeah. something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was good. I enjoyed that. It was. Um, but yeah, now it's going to be Braun Strowman and the two SNL guys in the, the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Yeah. So I would assume it's probably going to be broad manhandling everyone while these two guys stand behind them and eventually yeah they'll like hide and stuff yeah. yeah it's fine and they'll get their moment mm-hmm. and then yeah, yeah yeah that's fine i like it 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 adds a little bit of depth to it instead of just saying okay this is a match yeah yeah, yeah. so but i mean you, it, you could have went with just Braun destroying every single person yeah. one by one but too. not that it's gonna matter because it's not gonna amount to anything it's anyway. true this helps and i really hope that he's on snl either this week or the following week they should do something yeah, yeah. absolutely because it'd be great because it would have been funnier if they like made this happen on snl instead of on raw yeah, yeah, yeah and he yeah, just shows one. up and so because what he is this Braun, this isn't wrestlemania what the hell are you yeah. doing because, you know, it, it does take place the night before. Yeah. And it's just the Hall of Fame going on that night. Yeah. So if he ducks out of the Hall of Fame a little early, no one's going to notice. Oh, I don't know. Um, but anyway, it, it's just, it, it's funny. Mm-hmm. Also, I think Braun said that if they don't enter the Battle Royal, he's, they're going to have to wander the streets of New York. Forever or something. Wondering like that, when yeah. they're going to get yeah. these hands. Yeah. Uh, we had Baron Corbin versus Apollo Crews. Yeah. We're just building Baron Corbin up. For some reason. for a match that we're hoping right. gets changed. Right. So so here's the thing. We're, we're, we'll talk about Angle and Joe here as well because Angle's going through his farewell tour. Mm. He faced Samoa Joe this night. Too bad they didn't add Scott Steiner into the match. I know, right? <laughs> Kurt Angle's chances would have gone down drastically. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the fi- best YouTube video ever. It really ever. is. Uh, yeah, this was not good. Um, Angle can't move. It, it's so sad. It's true. Like, you know, I mean, the thing, you know, just say no. You can just, just tell him no. It's true. Kurt. It's true. Oh, and, I, and I feel bad for the guy because... He really wants he to. He wants to do it. Yeah. And he just can't go. And then, you know, the matches just aren't good. Just like him and Gable last week wasn't very good either. No, but, you know, that's a better, in theory, well, match yeah, this, than him and Corbin. This was all... I mean, this fit perfectly in... Angle wanting to do a farewell tour because these are all matches he had in TNA. Some of them, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, him first Joe and him yeah, first yeah. AJ. Yeah, and, it's true. And then WWE did announce, I mean, did acknowledge that they did have yeah, prior matches. Yeah, first time in WWE. WWE. So, yeah. you know, give them a little golf clap there for that. I guess so. Well, you know, you gotta, sometimes you got to point things out. True. Well, they. And it's not like they haven't acknowledged TNA recently a lot anyway. It's true. They have been. A little so. bit. They could have said, you know, you could have watched the GWN to check out uh, these matches. <laughs> yep. They did that before, but it was only on network specials, so uh, it doesn't matter. All right, so big picture here. Uh huh. Obviously, Kurt Angle went over because he's going to win every one of these matches. Uh huh. So he's facing Baron Corbin. The crowd hates it. And apparently, Corbin cut a promo on the crowd during the commercial break when they were, or just complain, you know, saying how the crowd was complaining that he was going to be in the match and yeah. it wasn't going to be anybody else. Makes sense. Now, with somebody going out like Kurt Angle, it would make sense for him to put somebody over, and like you know, him versus John Cena really doesn't do anything for anybody except for the of, fact that that's kind of what people would like to say. Right, right. Outside the fact yeah. here, but I mean, it still does nothing with Baron. Corbin. Baron Corbin doesn't need to win. I mean, he's probably not going to win. I guess he might. He might, but. It does, he doesn't need to win. No. It doesn't benefit his character. No. He doesn't need to be actually any good. Well, 
Yes, people hate sure. him because they hate him, but not he, because he does draw heat. He He's does. doing his job. Yes, well, right. that's what I mean, though. Yeah. What's the matter if he loses? Oh, nothing. nothing exactly. Yeah. But, I mean, they they could go the route of Angle making short work of Corbin because, again, it's not going to hurt him anyway and yeah. then have Cena come out or something like that. Yeah, that's fine. Just do something. I, I think the Cena thing is more of a nostalgia thing than anything. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, we got a little more Seth and Heyman stuff. Yeah. that Heyman was, like, flying on the floor. That was funny. Flying. He, like, ran away when mm-hmm. Rollins went after him. Um, but, yeah. It's the same old stuff that's been you going know, on. You know, when your champion's not there, there's not much you it's can true. do. I think things. Brock's going to be on Raw he next week. Yeah, yeah, Um, So, that's about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nothing else going on there. Nope. Triple H comes out. Mm-hmm. He... He's glad he didn't get the microphone that Batista didn't... That yeah, that's, that, was, that was kind of funny. And he jobbed to the envelope. He did. That was yeah. pretty good, too. Yeah. So, it, Triple H, I guess the wrestler, is a very different person than triple h the authority figure um and triple h the um i guess the nxt guy uh, is different than (laughs) he wears many hats yeah different person each time um but the wrestling version or the wrestler triple h is still kind of like the dx guy a little bit Um, but triple h i guess announces that well this will be a career versus a career match for him I thought it was just his career. Yeah, just his. That's yeah, what yeah, I meant. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think Batista did say it mm-hmm. at one point earlier. Maybe. Um, so I figured that was going to be the case anyway. Right. So he just, I guess, confirms it. But That's fair. Whatever. I don't really know. This if, is what a false count anywhere, or is this? Uh, it, I think it no, was. I think it was no holds no barred. No holds barred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really know if it makes any sense for Batista to win. He's not sticking around. Does nothing for anybody. No. Yeah, no holds barred. You're right. Um, the only thing is it kind of, I guess, allows Triple H to retire in in-ring action, but w- does he want to? I don't know. Because th- that's really the big question. Yeah. Is well, like come why back for Survivor Series? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's that's another thing is that there's really no. How many times do people retire and stay retired too? Yeah. Uh, although I think people who have match stipulations are more likely to actually stay. Well, didn't, what, stay around? You no, mean? stay retired. Oh, well, didn't Shawn Michaels lose a retirement match? I don't think so. Oh, I thought him versus... Oh, no, he was special guest referee in that match. Never mind. The... Uh, yeah, the, the taker Triple H. Match yeah, yeah, yeah. Thinking, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and the match that was... The match he had against Ric Flair at WrestleMania was a retirement match, mm-hmm, but it was... Ric Flair, yeah. Yes. So. Um, but, but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so throughout the night elias is doing um i guess little segments out on the streets in uh times square um and i i didn't really bother acknowledging any of them mm-hmm. until this last well, one. Well, yeah he had a bunch of money because people started to try to give him money put a quarter in yeah because he, he had like a, he had a coffee cup in his hand or whatever and someone just key. walks by throws a quarter in yeah um and then he's like oh this is a good idea and so he's got his guitar bu- um, case, case yeah. open, and it's got hundreds in it. So some guy walks over and grabs, <laughs> grabs a handful of money. Runs, and the license is like, ah, I'm going to make more money at WrestleMania. Yeah. It's good. And then the guy comes back and takes the guitar case. That's it. Yeah. And then we had Dean versus Drew. Um, falls count anywhere? No, last man standing. Last man standing, yes. Uh, another waste of time. Yeah, I, uh, I honestly said, I don't care. Turn the TV off and went to bed. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Dean lost yet again. Shocker um, there. Yeah. Dean, Which is funny because I think earlier in the day, it, it might have been Meltzer that reported, but they said, oh, Dean's going to be off TV and he's not going to be on Wrestle- at, yeah. at WrestleMania. And then Which he was, still. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I guess mm. it, they could have written him off three weeks ago and yeah. it would have been the same. Boy. Oh, yeah, when he had the, the um, false count anywhere, right? Yeah. With the, yeah. <laughs> when Drew put his foot through the little. It was like the by the steps. Yeah, the railing yeah, in the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. whatever. Um, on to SmackDown. Yeah. New Day, drop promo. Uh, they ask Vince to come out and saying that they're tired of yeah. how... Uh, Pretending Vin- to quit. Yeah. Vince has been... Or Vince is... Or I guess Kofi has been treated the last 11 years. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... 
Daniel Bryan comes out. I, I thought this was pretty funny. It was. So he's like, oh, just call up another three people. Call them fresh afternoon. And throw waffles into the audience. <laughs> I'll tell you what, uh, Daniel Bryan is very good at being obnoxious. He is. Yeah, so. well, well, I mean, it's it's the whole, uh, you know, him being a hypocrite thing that works perfectly. Yeah, exactly. Because, you know, he, he's the one. B-plus player. He's the one calling the crowd all types of hypocrites and things like that. It's just the irony. It's good. Yeah, so. It's fine. Um, but, yeah, Vince makes... Uh, Another gauntlet match, which seems to be the flavor of the month. Yeah, well, we don't have the stars. We don't yeah, care just about fill the, the stars. Let's just... Fill the time with a couple of people. Yep. But it's going to be a tag team one this time, and mm-hmm. it's going to be Xavier Woods and Big E battling on behalf of Kofi. Of Kofi, yep. yes. Like... His opportunities to uh-huh. get himself a match or over. All right, so we already talked about the next two things mm-hmm. with Becky interview and Charlotte winning the SmackDown Women's Championship yep. match. Uh, then we got Angle versus AJ. Yep. Orton comes out, RKO's AJ after not very yeah, long. They just traded back and forth submissions, and then mm-hmm. that was it. Yep. And then Angle hits an Angle slam on Orton, and that's about it. I guess you can call it that. But <laughs> he picked him up. <laughs> dropped him. Yeah, he dropped him. Oh, poor um, Kurt. And then The Miz comes out and calls out Shane. Oh, so, my God. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I yeah. <laughs> So, if it wasn't for the fact that Miz has never been billed as this guy, yeah, it would yeah, make what, sense. You are awesome, Chan, right? I think. Yeah. Crowd. So, Shane brings out the, I guess the, the hired, squad. the hired thugs, or the security. Yeah. Um, and then I'm like, okay, this is stupid, but I guess it kind of makes sense. But then he brings out Epico. And Primo. Shelton Benjamin and Sanity. <laughs> the theme of tonight's SmackDown was we need to show all of our tag teams. I guess so. Because the ones that weren't in the gauntlet match were either featured here or they were shown backstage during the gauntlet match. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, what? Like, where did, where, what, in what world does this make sense? <laughs> all right, we want the Miz to look good, but we don't want them to look that good. So yeah. we're just going to throw our garbage out there that we don't utilize. Yeah, so Shane comes out, he spits <laughs> some nonsense, and then he makes fun of, sweating all over the yeah, place. He makes fun of the Miz's mom for, I guess, having him or whatever. And yeah. at this point, the Miz loses it. He comes out, he beats up the security guards, like, yeah, no big deal. And then he takes out Shelton Benjamin and Epico. Mm hmm. Um, Sanity comes down. Eric Young goes, Shane, Shane, we got it. Shane, yeah, we got it. And <laughs> he's up there pacing and sweating now on the yeah. stage. Oh, yeah, Shane boy. looks like he's about ready to run away. <laughs> <laughs> and then Miz actually is able to fend all of them off. <laughs> There's never been a point in the Miz's career where he was actually able to show any kind of physical dominance. Should have been taken seriously either. Yeah. So like, why? <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't. It's just weird. Uh, Very weird. Well, let's just hope Shane loses and he doesn't. Shane stick hasn't around. won a WrestleMania I know, match. So but don't don't count him out. Okay. I guess that's he may fair. sweat his way to victory. That's fair. Uh, all right, so we have that gauntlet match that we talked so about. Did this take up the last hour? It was uh, 45 minutes at least. I do a good job with this. Yeah. I feel like the commercials just seem longer well, and here's, longer here's as the Here's what show the goes problem on. is. Because when they do stuff like this, mm. they have to have match- uh, commercials during the matches that yeah. they don't show it. So now instead of having a commercial break with the play-by-play mm. or with the picture-in-picture, mm. it's a commercial that's just commercial. Fair enough. So that that like plays you, a role. Yeah. yeah. All right. So it starts off with the club. Oh, these poor sons of bitches. Yeah, it's sad. I don't even think Anderson got a tag. I don't know. I didn't watch this part, so I'm I missed. Sure, you took. The I missed pin. the first two matches of this. Um. But yeah, the they're leaving. They're gone. They, I mean, they're gone. Or at least if they don't leave they're idiots maybe not idiots no, um, getting paid. yeah it's true paid well they yeah. don't have to be on tv it's fair. they get to work out they probably they get to see their family they probably also don't do that many house shows no. there's a lot of tag teams there's only so many things you could do yeah um but yeah uh then it was rusev and nakamura honestly it's not a bad gig if you don't really care it's true 
Yeah. I mean, Primo and Epico, they've been collecting a paycheck for... Well, I think they one of them has been hurt on and off. Like, they've been trading being hurt for yeah. a while. Um, and then it was the bar. Mm-hmm. Um, Woods rolls up Sheamus. Um, Sheamus grabs a table. They put Big E through the table. Mm-hmm. And then the bar leaves. And then the Usos come out. And my immediate reaction was like, why in the world would they have the Usos, the face tag team champions, in this gaunt- yep. in this gauntlet match? The only thing that would have been worse probably is having Ricochet and Aleister Black. Actually, no, this is probably worse. No, this is yeah. worse. Yeah. yeah. Well, because they have history. And they reference this. Right, right, right. So the Usos grab the microphones and, like, we've been to war with the New Day and we got nothing but respect. So, be- that being said, we forfeit. And that they're saying that Kofi deserves it, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So, Daniel Bryan starting a hissy fit in the back. It's like, this is ridiculous. I thought he was going to hit Rowan with one of those chairs when he threw it across the room. Yeah, well, you know. Whatever. Easy guess. But uh, then, after that, Rowan and Daniel Bryan are the next ones. Mm -hmm. Um, So, they made Rowan look so stupid in this match. Unreal. Yeah. Because every... the table off this time. Yeah, it's true. (laughs) But every opportunity for him to, like, do a spot where he looked like a doofus, Mm -hmm. it was there. He got thrown over the top rope multiple times. Mm -hmm. He got... uh, He ran into the the pole multiple times. And then the finish of the match was him getting the paper mache desk thrown on top of him that probably weighs 15 pounds. um, And he couldn't get up. And he gets counted out, which is a good way to do it. Yeah, that was fine. Because it doesn't make... Because Daniel Bryan wasn't the legal man. He was outside of the ring. So it doesn't make him look bad. And it doesn't matter what the New Day look like because they're not involved in the title match anyway. Yeah, but I think they're hinting at something here, man. What? I don't know. Those eyes on Big E's face after they won. He's just looking at Kofi. They're going to do it. It's possible. They're going to split him up. It's in. Heal Big E, and then he's going to end up taking the championship. That, that's point. fine. Do you really think oh, that having a program between those two of them is a bad idea? Oh, absolutely not. So, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, so I'm I'm, a, I'm on board with that. But I, I feel like this would be something they would do. You know, I, yeah, I, I, Daniel just, Bryan has run his course. Yeah. Especially but, if he's not going to face the Miz. <laughs> I'm still across about that. And I'm the best lie. part is everything lined up. They didn't do it. I, everything <laughs> did. It was like unreal, Un, unreal. All right. So. All they needed to do, because you got me started, <laughs> they just needed to have the Miz and Asuka win the mixed match challenge, and everything would have been perfect. Perfect. I guess so. Stupid sweaty man. <laughs> anyway. Um. So, New Day win. They celebrate. Kofi comes out, and then the face locker room. I guess yeah, more or less. Sure. Uh, Becky was there. Kevin Owens was there, which was, yeah, a, was little a little weird. weird. Um, and then the Hardys. Some guy with like really helmet hair looking. He was on the like the mm. hard there camera was a couple side. Couple people that I weren't. couldn't figure out who the hell that oh, was. Oh, then Byron took his headset off. Yeah, he's like, I'm going to celebrate too. Oh, so, boy. but yeah, uh, yeah. I really hope Kofi wins. Just yeah, it's true. Just do it. See, the only problem is... I know, there's too many things there's that... Too <laughs> many, there's too many big matches where the heel's the champion, and you want to see the baby face go over. And I you mean, this know is the that, one I really want to see the most. I was going to say, of the three, I'd be the... If they're only going to do one, I'm okay with this. Yeah. I would I would sacrifice Brock Lesnar for a little while longer to make sure that <laughs> Kofi and Becky... For a little while longer. Well, yeah, because he's he's not going to hold on to it forever. It'd be like Kurt Angle holding on to the title. Yeah, I guess that's true. But I'd rather see Seth lose over the other two. Yeah, no, no, I agree. So, because Seth, you don't really have to worry about. It. This is Gofi's last opportunity. There's not going to be anything after Probably this. Probably not. So, you got to strike the iron while it's hot. Exactly. That's it. So, thank but, you, Mustafa Ali, basically. Yeah, you mean Ali. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so dumb yeah well i thought it was done with to... andrade i think it's dumb now so it's and it's not gonna finish there nope it's true never will be done i can't wait till it's just joe <laughs> uh, anyway yep so uh that's pretty much it Yep. next week's the go home show and then that long ass wrestlemania yep pretty much it yep okay then yeah if you liked what you saw here please like share and subscribe bye bye